staples and i honestly believe that you don't want to go particularly heavy on cavalry as i see me mm. in fact you may want to spam spears this is yeah I, I do agree i think too much cav as i see me is is well, going again, to so it's it's really going to be difficult to do anything with them that's useful like unless they stay away from the fight i guess and try to get some hammer and anvils or something but there's an elephant on the other side so mm -hmm. your infantry can very easily shatter uh if especially when you only have like four swords and three spears here they're like yeah. th those three spears are going to be so easy to pin down because look at how many more just infantry units rome has just in general yes and your cavalry will not be particularly useful especially considering that in this regard i Arverne is just better because they have heavy horse and mm -hmm. uh the that veteran riders for i seen him maybe a bit too weak all right so the game is starting yeah the game is starting uh, i will actually start recording for youtube as well uh, in three two one hello my fellow room two players the rip here with game adudster hello hiya 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 starcast of scan invitational tournament is here with us today yeah. make sure to check his youtube channel uh, to see the cast of one of the best tournaments in my opinion played so far in rome 2 it really was quite fierce fun and uh, fairly deep anyway we are here in a flash tournament number 64 in a finals between Ancient Warrior and Varag. Uh, Ancient Warrior picked Rome because uh, faction uh, limitations were taken down and Varag picked Iceni against Rome. So we will see if Iceni can actually work or not. Will you yeah. go over the builds? Sure, so uh, Ancient Warrior has um, pretty, I guess, standard as you said uh, in terms of this tournament. Lots of Soki Equites because they're very cost effective against any kind of Barbarian Cav. Uh, I think he has five of them overall. He has one Auxiliary African Elephant, uh, which the Barbarians are going to find pretty tough to deal with. And then he's just brought a bunch of uh, regular infantry here. Lots of um, lots of Praetorian Guard and a little bit of um, Veteran Legionaries kind of mixed in there with an Evocati Cohort. So it's a pretty... I, I would call it a pretty powerful power build it's very rush based he just kind of gets in your face and uh, uh, tries to attack uh, you want to go over the other build real fast yeah but I want to mention how interestingly ancient warrior attack by spreading his units very wide probably to counter these Britain slingers and oh here come here the chariot the that is not a smart idea I think look that chariot is gonna do so much damage but but counter charged by counter charged and by elephant. already stuck. Yeah. Interesting. And on all flanks, engagement starting. I will go over the build after game ends because there is too much action. Uh, Look, action happening on the right flank as well. But see, this is good for Rome. Look how easily the all of the barbarian infantry is going to get engaged here. And now the elephant is going to be free to just come in here, and look, just do so many charges, <laughs> so much damage, and just roll up the flank. But uh, despite this chariot already dying, interestingly enough, Evocoti cohort in the middle going equally against this chosen spear band because of uh, chariot push and Britain slingers. But overall, this I, don't, I just don't see it. Yeah, but like, look how Ancient Warrior is leaving one unit of Praetorian Guard at the back there. He's just keeping it close yeah. to his uh, Velites, um, and now he's going to bring them in. He's going to bring them in against units that have been basically cut down in half. Yep. And notice how on the flanks, the Soki Equites have been fighting his... Um, have been fighting the Heroic Riders and just having a blast, really. Totally winning, yeah. like, decisively, losing yeah. 15 men and killing the whole unit. Just enjoying that, yeah. And he, the Elephant didn't even really do that much. Uh, like he the elephant stopped the chariots, but then like it kind of got shot down really the cab and the infantry won that one for ancient warrior It was just a yeah It's the better engagement and, for him overall And as we discuss I uh, said at the beginning uh, before the game started a lot will depend on uh, 
in I see me utilizing chariots and they didn't get enough kills I, I think just didn't and a build wise it's really difficult how do you beat Rome in this rule set I mean it's Rome against barbarians I don't know why they play on this map because it's completely wide map which gives Rome even more mm. advantage uh, because so 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 she equitas they really do love uh, open spaces that's ideal uh, counter charge scenario for them yeah and the barbarians like they won't be able to do any of the ambushing any of the silly stuff you know they won't be able to play any kind of mind games with the roman army and yeah pretty decisive i'd say that one um, maybe Maybe Varak engaged too early. Maybe his slingers could have done a bit more softening up. Potentially, I don't know. Uh, but even if we look at his infantry, really, look how little his cavalry did. Really, if instead of so many cavalry he had six heroic nobles and four chosen spear band, mm -hmm. he wouldn't lose much. Really. He, yeah, he would have been able to fight the Roman infantry a little bit better. But like, even even if he did do that, they're still gonna be fighting six Praetorian guard, yeah, and an elephant. Like, it's really tough for Iceni to to win this matchup. I think. I mean, yes. If it went skirmish heavy, it would have just gotten eaten up by the Soki Equites. If it went infantry heavy, you you would need. It doesn't really have elephant stopping tools. Um. So I don't know. Well, maybe choose a spear band, but. Instead of slingers, I would definitely take some sort of uh, javelin throws. Javelin, I agree. Yeah, me too. But uh, that was game I one. Mean, yeah, but, but again, so to sum it up, going into 